What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the nose. We're gonna start over on the left side. I'm just gonna curve the nose going up towards the top, round this out, and then pull that in along the bottom. Now we're gonna move out to the side and draw in the mouth. We're gonna line up with the center of the nose over on the left, curve the mouth coming down, and round this out, and then pull that up on the right. Let's add a bracket going across the end of the mouth. Now from here, we're gonna layer the cheeks in behind the corners of the mouth. So we're gonna draw an oval with an open end. Let's start over on the left side. It's gonna go around that bracket, go up towards the top, and then bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now I add two dots along the top, and then one on the bottom for the freckles. Now we want to layer two large circles for the eyes in behind the nose and the cheeks. So we'll start in the center, just up above the nose. I'm gonna go up, round up the left eye, and then just pull that in on top of the cheek. Go back to the center, go all the way around, and then in on top of the right cheek. Let's round out the bottom of the eye, starting from the cheek, going down and up in behind the nose. And do the same thing on the right. Now you want to draw two smaller circles along the inside, just up against the edge of the nose. So we'll start on the left, going all the way around and back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. And then we'll draw another circle in the center of the pupil going in behind the highlight. Going all the way around, just tucking that in. And then we'll fill the center of the pupils. Now I'm gonna add three lashes on top of each eye. Starting right in the center, start with one straight line going up. Step in, we're gonna angle this up and in. Now I wanna move out and angle these out. Let's go back to the center and draw on those two teeth. Leaving a small gap in between, draw two lines coming down. Go out towards the side. And then pull that straight up underneath the mouth. I'm also gonna add a fold underneath the teeth, going down and then up. Now from here we go all the way up to the top of our page and draw the top of the head. Let's start on the left side, we're gonna draw a wave going all the way across. Just wanna to try to keep that same height all the way towards the right side. And it'll bring the head coming down in an angle using that same wavy line. So start on the left. So I start to bend this in. I'm going to bring this down just underneath that lower lip. Let's close off the bottom with another wavy line. Let's work our way across. And then we'll go back and add some circles around the head. Let's start on the top left. Start with a circle. Add a smaller one just below. Let's come down to the bottom, add a small circle, add a larger one on the inside. Now it's going to work our way up towards the right, adding these various size circles. Now we want to tuck the body in underneath the head. From the bottom corners, we're going to step in, draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of the body off the bottom with a straight line. Now I'm going to go back to the center and draw on the tie. From the side, and this down and in towards the bottom of the knot. Close this off. Now from the bottom corners, angle this down and out. Pull that back down and in towards the center of the tie. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the collar. From the top of the knot, Angle this down and out. Angle this up and out underneath the head. 
Now you want to separate the body with a horizontal line going across the middle. So we'll start on the left, go all the way across, in behind the tie, and continue on the right. Let's add in the belt detail. From the side of the tie, start with two straight lines going out, come down with a short line, and pull that back in towards the side of the tie. Now from the end, we're going to step over, draw a straight line going all the way across towards the side of the body, come down the inside, and then go back out. Let's fill the inside of the belt in black. Now going back to the center, let's draw in the legs. We're going to leave a gap in the center and draw two lines. One on the left, one on the right. Let's round out the bottom of the shorts, coming down and then bending that up. And pull this straight up underneath the body. Let's tuck the legs in the center of the pant. We're going to start on the inside on the left. Draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now you want to step out and draw that again, coming down towards the same height. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Let's go halfway along the leg and add another curve for the edge of the socks. Now let's draw the outside perimeter of the feet. Starting from the inside of the leg, bend this in and then down towards the heel. Draw a straight line going out and then draw a short line going up. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Curving this down and then up. Now you want to round out the front of the foot, go all the way around, and then we'll bend that down. Bend this up and in towards the outside of the ankle. Now we're going to add two ovals along the top of the foot for a highlight. And then we'll fill the inside of the shoe working around that highlight. Now we're going to move back up to the top and draw in the arms. We're going to start by placing the shoulders on the side of the head. From the bottom of the corner, step up, bend the sleeve, going out and then up towards the side. And then line that up on the right. Bend the arm going up and in towards the side of the head. From the inside of the sleeve, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, draw a half circle coming in and out for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now I'm going to curl three fingers around either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb. I'm going to bring this down and bend that up around the bracket. Step down, go down and bend that up. And then the third finger, we go all the way around and just pull that in towards the outside of the wrist. From the outside of the wrist, we're going to draw that same angle line going up underneath the sleeve. Now let's add in some color. We'll start with our yellow and fill the inside of the head going around the eyes and those circles. that same color across the arm. And then 
the top of the lens. I'm going to fill the outside of the iris with this bright blue going around that highlight. And using this brown for the bottom of the pants. And I want to use this green and fill in those circles around the head. And once we're done, we always like to sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color SpongeBob SquarePants. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.